What is up you guys, this is Black Stories bringing you a new Let's Play of Vindictus Season 2 using my Herc. I will explain in a moment why I chose to jump through Season 2 Episode 1 instead of finishing Season 1. So once I sell my junk and read some dialogues, I'll get back to it. Mm, some Sheila. Good timing stories. You ever think about getting out of here? Seeing the world? Uh, kinda, not really. You probably know. But I spent a lot of good years hunting down treasure. Sigh so laughs. In fact, I get back to it. If I wasn't stuck in this breg. You're stuck here? What? But you... You don't seem like... Well... You don't seem like that type of person that would spend their life following orders, do ya? No! I didn't think so. I don't see you as a mercenary. Just doesn't make any sense. Am I wrong? I didn't think so. <laughs> Welcome to season two. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Maybe I can help you out. Maybe I know a place you can go to get away from the royals and the church. I used to run with a good crew, the Coffer Chasers. They're stationed in town called Melina. If I said that right. <laughs> You're just a sort of battle sworn renegade that would fit in with a bunch of low life thrill seekers like them. <laughs> okay, low life, huh? <laughs> Look, I'm not trying to tell you what what to do with your life. Good, you don't need to, woman. Just kidding. Just, just kidding. I'm, I'm only playing here. I just want you to know the world got a lot more to offer than dead bodies and broken hearts. There is a ferry running to Maryland or Melanina, Melanina <laughs> at the docks. I said Maryland. <laughs> If you're thinking about boarding in, I'll send you along. <laughs> with the with the letter and a little job for the guild. And take that goon leather along with you. Might come in handy. And if you meet a man named Tristan, give him my foundest regards. And slap him if he's still chewing on that cigar. I told him to give that up years ago. <laughs> Damn. That's his mama. <laughs> I want that to be my mom. No, I'm just kidding. No. Never, never, never. <laughs> I lie. I mentioned a while ago that I was going to be jumping to season 2 and skip season one overall i am not i will come back to season one once i'm done with season two but just by my experience and by uh i guess by how the game is right now there's a lot more going on in season two as, as there is and i want to level up my herc and and uh also continue on with the story with season two so it will be a lot faster for me to finish season two and then progress back to season one because season two will be hard as hell once i get to level 80 and it's going to be tough absolutely not why not you let asher join the guild that's milo by the way one of my favorite characters in the game milo i'm older than you don't try to compare you seen Asher out running commissions for me, boy? 
just because he's in don't mean he's ready for action. I gotta say, season two dialogue is very, very funny, by the way, to me. Um, oh, it's her, the big breast chick. She's pretty, but I think she she's young too, so I'll scratch that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but Asher is not like the most competent guy in town, is he? It's also funny how you're just standing there listening to them argue about uh, what Milo has to say, like, because he really wants to join the guild and so. Hey, that's not fair. I'm still learning the ropes. Learning the mop and broom is more like it. <laughs> Watch your mouth and you're going to get clobbered. No one uses that phrase anymore. Clobbered. <laughs> and don't think I'm going to go easy on you because you're Asilis's little brother. I don't care how hot she is. <laughs> everyone knows she's hot. Pretty much everyone knows she's hotter than Teeth. In a way, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. They, I, Devcat already knows they, they made her hot. Everyone knows she's hot. Devcat knows she's hot. They made her hot. Asilis don't want you running into the jungle. And you know I'm not going to cross her. Deal with it. Deal with it. Deal with it. Damn, everyone just keep on saying deal with it. Man. Ever since Xbox. <clears throat> Anyways. My sister won't even let me slice fruit. Because she thinks I'm going to chop off my fingers. <laughs> yeah, I can't listen to her. <laughs> Damn. Her sister is so strict. Hot and strict. She could. She must be Evie. She has to be. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. You did cut your fingers off when you were chopping up that mango. You had a bandage in your hand for like three weeks. So you chopped off his fingers. What? You mean he cut his finger, right? I thought you. I thought I told you to shut your trap, Asher. He cut his fingers, not cut off his fingers. That's, you can't put it back on oh, whatever. The coffer chaser doesn't have room for anyone here or anybody, especially not a loud mouth looking for his charm and fame. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, all guilds are not really like that because this is just a story. So. <laughs> You can't just give up your hopes of finding the destiny stone. The destiny stone. It's gonna get you and your friends dead. What's a destiny stone? Such a stupid kid. I'm curious about that destiny stone. You don't really hear about it. I hear one word out of you. Asher, you're going out of business. End of the cannon. End of a cannon. You gotta let me in. You gotta do it. No, I don't. I'm not leaving until you make me a part of a guild member. I'll toss you out on your backside with one hand. You want that punk? You geezled old son of a... <laughs> Stop arguing, you rats. We have a customer. Everyone's like a pirate here, including that, that one chick. Welcome to the office of the world's greatest treasure acquisition aficionado. The Coffin Chasers. I don't even know how I said that right. But, wow. This girl, she gives me the hots. Mm, she must be Evie. She has such knowledge and enlightenment. Okay, enough. <laughs> How can I help you? So, I guess a five minute argument, if you read the dialogue, is pretty much enough, but I guess it's sort of in a different way that they don't even realize you're there. So, I guess the argument was really, um, really that harsh to Milo, I guess. 
Ah, Sheila sent you. How's that old forest hag getting along? She's still showing off her tatas like they are going out of style. <laughs> wow. <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> Uh, I have no comment. <clears throat> uh, I suppose be in bed because I'm still sick. Oh, uh, sorry, Eslet. I didn't mean to. Uh, because she has bigger tits. I mean, <clears throat> tatas. Uh. Hey, that's some good-looking no leather. Sheila really goes for the best, don't she? I. Uh, no leather is not really. I prefer Yeti, basically. Or Yeti Roku. Hmm. Trying to get a beat on the Chris on the Chief of Crescent Moon. I know exactly where I can find those. I'll take that commission. Oh boy. Shut up, Milo. That commission is mine. Both of you, shut up! <laughs> Stories. Sheila says you're good to go. I use this device called a phone. We, uh, we basically could travel with this, uh, conch shell thing. And, uh, basically I found this and it's mine! It's mine. Uh, what phone? What's a phone? You want to join the guild? You got to take this job. No way. You said no new members today. If this Trump gets to take the test, then I get to take it also. I've had my own dialogue there. <laughs> so Milo bolted through the door and ran as fast as he could. Son rotten son of a fishwife. Get back here, you idiot. I wasn't going to make you do all that work. Milo already long gone. Milo's too blusted, reckless to join with us. I wouldn't send any of my people out along on the job like this, especially not a kid. Yep, well, kids will be kids. You give them something, they get it, they use it, and they break it. At least you can get over the Crescent Moon Island without a boat or a fresh pair of flippers. Oh, he's talking about Milo. I thought I said I. Look, you got time before that little bird brain figures out how to get to that island. Why don't you go to the inn and dump your luggage? I had luggage? I only know I had a sword. That's all. Your first job will be to tell Asliz what her brother's up to without getting killed. <laughs> okay. Just head up. <laughs> I could see it now. Just the dark aura filled, just just draws you, try to push you back like a magnet, but you just don't want to go there, but you have to. <laughs> the sky turns dark, and it rains, and you can hear, you can hear lightning and thunder clouds going on, but you don't see it. And there it is, the White Will Inn, where Asla is there waiting for her brother. Watch out. <laughs> I don't know. That's something fun to think about, I guess. There it is. <laughs> oh, shit. Is this it or the bar? Okay, this is it. I thought it was the bar at first, too. And da 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 damn, she's hot. <laughs> That was my first reaction. I was like, nah. I swear, 
and every god and goddess across the world, Milo. Uh, um, hello. <laughs> that it's that demon of hers in there. Um, sorry, sorry about that. It's my brother. He's well. I can only assume he's getting up to no good. You're sure right about that. Are you here for a room? I'm here for you. No, just playing. Okay, you explain about the the guild. He did what? <laughs> he did what? I'm going to grab that stupid spiky hair of his and tear his pointy little head right off his shoulders. Damn, that's pretty dark. <laughs> no wonder Milo's so scared of her. I'll be scared too. Damn, I don't want her to be my sister. Hell no. I'll hit that, but not not, not like, like a family-related thing. She's going to kill me. Oh, um, sorry. What's she sorry about? <laughs> she has multi-personalities? Oh my gosh, no! <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll get your things and put up the, in your room. <laughs> okay. You just go about your day. Go take the entire test or whatever it is Tristan have, have, uh, having you to do. Oh my gosh. This is so fun. <laughs> Why does people really skip these dialogues? They're pretty, they're pretty damn good. Like, they're not like, you know, it gets better, of course, later on, but it's pretty worth reading. But, you know, everyone's in a rush, so I don't blame them. Uh, you just want to get into the epicness, the epic games and all that. That's pretty good. I love the music in this game, too, and the raids. It's what's up, but, you know. The dialogue is pretty good, too. Hey, Asilis didn't kill ya. You're gonna fit in just fine. <laughs> My name is Tristan, and I ran... I, I run the Melina branch of the Coffer Chasers Guild. Should have introduced yourself a long time ago. You can pretty much swear off the other branches. We're the best, and everyone knows it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It ain't pretty thing in the world. What, the building? The building's not, of course. It's horrible. I told you you should have spruce this place. I love how she uses some some unique words here. Yeah, don't buy a ship for a paint job, kid. That is such a man saying. Yep. I say it all the time in my room. No. No, I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> now, stories. You want to join up? Go to the Crescent Moon Island and locate the real Oriente. Mm-hmm. The Earth Sorcerer and want the, the weapon that she carries. And we're special on the Egyptian. We want it. Okay. Well, all right. We were basically trying to... Uh, get her weapon it's it's not entirely her what she holds hold on the earth troll can oh yeah it's just telling you she could smash on the ground and uh, the 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 way how she smashes on the ground the color will change to at least like red that means you have to jump or or orange like like a yellowish uh, yellowish orange if yellowish orange whatever that sounds retarded orange light and then once it's the orange light, you could stand there. So yeah. <laughs> okay. So it's not really her weapon that she holds that you have to get first. It is that also, but uh, that's later on. But um, it's it's actually her uh, her wand. She has a wand that she doesn't really use, but some I guess it's with the weapon. It goes inside the weapon, enchanted or something like that. It could be. And I'm just guessing because once you see it, I don't want to spoil it, but once you do see it, it doesn't really look like her weapon that she's carrying. <clears throat> but that's just, you know, that's just a side, that's just the, the, the item, you know, what you have to do for your, uh, 
your quest, your item quest. Yeah. Uh, I got too much damn junk here. I gotta sell some stuff real soon. And there's some stuff that expired, so. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, I think we're good. I don't have too many things to actually put in my click slot. Nope. Nope. So, later on, <clears throat> I'm, I'm going to have to have help with the, with the raids. I'm not going to, like, invite people to the boat because it's going to be a low level. And people really doesn't want to waste any time. So... I'm gonna try and find an assist uh, player, or at least myself, because I can help my Herc out with a few quests. Cause just because I I know I know magic, I'm I'm a sorcerer. No, I'm just kidding. I'm a warlock now. No, I just have another account that I could actually uh, get into. Hey, big fella. Ah, uh, ah, oh, damn it. Uh, what took you so long? <laughs> All right, now I can see. You don't give me that look. I'm here to help you out. My name is Mil. <laughs> My name is Miller. <laughs> Boy, you don't have to lie. Come on. <laughs> My name is Miller. <laughs> That's a good one. You're gonna need help if you want to survive this jungle. And I'm the only man that can do the job. You're after the uh, Earth Shaker, right? Lucky for you, I'm an expert of dealing those uh, wannabe jungle magicians like yourself. <laughs> mm, all you gotta do is know where. Two kinds of yeah. Basically, she he's basically saying uh, those you know those lights when you jump or when you have to stand. So when you stand, basically you'll see a orange light and you just stand there. You don't move at all, so you won't get hurt. As for red, a red light will pop up when she's gonna hit the ground and you just jump. So it's a uh, chitty chat. Let's see what he says. The only problem with my, with this island is how boring it is. Well, at the end, it's a giant snakes. Boring. What's, I don't even know anymore. <laughs> What's boring about the jungle compared to where you live? <laughs> what can you do there more than anywhere else? All right, finally we got some action. I hope you guys were, uh, if you guys are still watching, I hope you guys were entertained about the dialogue. I did try the best I can to, to at least entertain you guys with my own uh, mix up with my commentary. But other than that, now we can see some action. And uh, I have to mention that the season two um, story is going to have more dialogue. A lot more dialogue than. Uh, well, season one has a lot of dialogue, but you finish the story right away, like episode after episode after episode after episode. As for uh, season two's episode, it's pretty long, so you're gonna see some uh, a lot of dialogue that's gonna come in, and uh, I'm gonna try my best to at least finish the whole entire season two and then go back to season one, cause uh, I think that will be better. There is a story also that makes you go to road chest missions in uh, season two, so we might not be able to finish the whole entire season. This is season uh, two. We have to go back to season one and then season two. We'll see how it goes because I haven't done that order yet. <clears throat> if you guys know what I mean, if you guys are experienced the game, if you guys are not, you'll see what I mean. So this is where the Earthshaker is. She's basically here when you kill these uh, these giant bu uh, bugs or whatever they are. They look like these. Or giant hornets? They look, yeah, they're hornets. They don't look like... They look like real... Oh, yeah, yeah, they're hornets. So that's what I mean. Oh, I did though. <laughs> so that's what I mean, the red uh, glow when she, when she does that. You have to jump. 
Jump and smash is actually better because it gives you a long time to be in there. So you gotta be careful with her. Especially in level 80, she can kick your ass if you're not really uh, careful. She hits pretty hard. But the thing is, she's pretty slow. So you do have the advantage to actually kill her pretty fast. That weapon would be sweet though. Earthshaker? Heck yeah. Heck yeah, I would've... I think that weapon would come in handy. Boom! 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 Maybe... Maybe her should have that. You know? Earthshaker just... Shaking the freaking ground, hitting the floor. Hell yeah, that would be sick. That's me. It would be pretty cool. We'll see. Oh! Lag! Frame rate just dropping! Because I was so epic in that pose. No, nah, it's actually the wolf. The wolf drops a uh, frame rate because of well, how much crap and effects it has. <laughs> it's pretty sad how they just put in some crap, man. It's like a uh, EV spell. It's like if you use that fire blasting, fire blasting. If you use one of the fire attacks, it actually slows down the the frame rate. So, same thing as a wolf, except the wolf is non-stop, if you look at it. It's a holy wolf, you can't really see it, and it just it just <laughs> makes your whole computer DC out of nowhere. Like, whoa, the game's gone, I just looked at the wolf. What happened? No way, that wolf is so epic. <laughs> I guess that's how they want you to think, I don't know. Wow, that's the uh, Zagka staff. Can I see it? No, don't give it to him. Don't worry, I told you I'm an expert of this stuff. An expert of looking at it? Okay. I'm giving him some time to look at it. <laughs> Since he's an expert. <laughs> How do you make this uh, click thing? It's just... Just say crank and old wood. Well, yeah, it's coarse. It's old wood. What do you expect? Mm, making it by handle. Okay. Miller twist. Ah, uh -huh. the staff shatters with a loud crack. <laughs> oh, jeez, he broke it. It's all your fault, Miller. It's all your fault, Milo. I know you're gonna. Get, I know what you're gonna say. It's my fault, but it's definitely not my fault. It just happened. <laughs> it just happened in thin air. I don't know. I was looking at it, the expert, and it just cracked. Like like how the universe came to be. It just happened. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, maybe, maybe. Mm, we could take uh, back into the magic shack and uh, meet me there. Okay. Fine. It, it's just worrying about the staff. They might figure out my real identity. Well, for sure. You live there. I don't think uh, your height could actually. I oh, never mind. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, Miller. It's all your fault. It's all your fault. Let's see what they have to say. Ah, the rookie's back. The thing's busted. I don't know what you man handlers handle a job, but my crew don't bring back broken trash for our clients. You want to be a coffin chaser? You got to execute the job to perfection. I'm not going too hard on you this time. You're new and that Earthquake or troll was a new was a nuisance, but you need some experience before I let you join up 
take the little one around town, I gotta think on how I want to deal with this mess. Not good, not good. It's like getting your resume to get your real job. You pretty much messed up your, the first time. You will get another chance, but it's not looking good still. Alright, this is my favorite person. <laughs> my favorite magician in here. Enzo. What's with the get up, my little man? <laughs> That's what I think about when I see him. What's up, bruh? I told you. It's a disgrace. And, and don't call me by my real name. Somebody gonna hear. Who's gonna hear? Ah, it's gonna be me. Uh huh. stories. How did it go with the... Uh... Oh, it went really bad, huh? Who's your friend, Milo? My friend, my name is Miller. I don't even know Milo. <laughs> and this is Stories, the new coffin chaser. Or I guess a would-be coffin chaser. Stories, this is Enzo. Our town magician. I wonder what a warlock weapon he has. You know, I want to see what a warlock looks like in this game. Please meet you, bruh. I'm more like a natural whisper, you know? I mean, I know magic, but that's really not my thing. I make some wicked potions, though, right, Milo? <laughs> Miller, call me Miller. You gotta watch out with this guy, stories. He'll have you thinking you're taking care of him one minute. Then, you find out you're an accomplice. That's pretty bad. That's a bad example of uh, what Milo is. Definitely gotta get better, disgrace though, buddy. Hey, we all had our young reckless moments before. Even I. Crazy stuff back then. Come on, Ezru. Don't spread lies about me. Stories, you don't need to listen to him. Hey, Miller, isn't that your sister? <laughs> <laughs> oh, crap. I never... I never came here. You don't know me. <laughs> hide everything. I'll hide under your skirt. Please save me. She's here. Azu, do you know where Milo went? Hey there, beautiful. Out looking for your brat again? He's not here. That's what I love about Azu. Azu is pimp. He's a beast. Of course I am. Wait, how do you know? It's either that, or you're finally going to take me up on a romantic camping trip I've been offering. Damn, he's trying to hit on that. <laughs> what say you stop chasing around that shrimp and spend a night with a shark? <laughs> Oh, damn. Real cute. <laughs> huh, okay. <laughs> Real cute, me head. But no thanks. If you see Milo, put him in the headlock and don't let him go. Maybe he'll even want to go camping with you. Mm hmm. Backfire. Yep. Ah, uh, she's pretty hard to get. I can see that. Ah, <laughs> uh, I should have just let her caught me. What was all that stuff about that romantic camping trip? <laughs> I need some water, you guys. Hold on. <laughs> Alright, and I'm back.
the easiest way to get rid of a girl like that is to hit on her. Now get out of here before she comes back. <laughs> she will come back, will she? Azul. <laughs> That's what I like about Azu. Azu is pretty it's pretty unique character in his own uh, personal way. Personality way, I mean. Fine, but I still owe stories for what happened. Yeah, damn right. Give me some money. I got an idea on how you can do that, bro. And get in with your hot sister. <laughs> Everyone knows she's hot. Why? <laughs> Dev cat knows she wants her hot. Why don't you and stores help me out? Azur is officially now my my sensei. My my idol. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Without Reddick and Reskrom around, I'm getting behind on my orders and I'm running out of supplies. I wonder what kind of supplies he has. I might even give you a chance to meet some more folks around here and take this. Some bomb mana dust. I want to know what else he could. I wonder if he could at least enchant weapons. It's too bad he can't. Or enchant some stuff. Turhan is waiting at the fine. at this fine uh, mana dust. I'm going to bring it over to the forge. Uh, okay. It's just telling you where the, where they're at, where the persons are at, and the old med. Actually, the old med gives you uh, this ability or this uh, expertise of gathering uh, luminary powder and luminary trees. And it wouldn't hurt my feelings if a bottle of spice rum from the bar showed up here. Gonna get wasted, bro. <laughs> oh boy. Stories isn't your personal slave. And I'm not your personal guardian, Milo. Damn. And only the reason uh, Stories is here is because of your of you screwing around. That you were screwing around, Milo. Fine. Alright then, Stories. I'm gonna take a walk and visit the herb garden, y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna visit that herb garden, y'all. I will take you with me, bro. But I gotta grow some, you know. I'm running out of supplies. <laughs> Damn, the herb garden. Where's that at? <laughs> I don't do that really anymore. But I used to like enjoy her medical herb, but I don't do that anymore. When I was still in my high school, and even graduation, when I graduated from high school, it was like, wow, you know, medical herb was the thing in those days. I think it still is right now, but I don't know. I don't want to, cause I, you guys probably are young and still, you know, I don't want to talk about it, but I'm just sharing my little personal experience of my life, I guess. Oh boy. But other than that, you guys... I hope you guys did enjoy this Let's Play as much as I did. And <laughs> I pretty much enjoyed it a lot, especially with Azu and all this uh, all this stuff about boobs and, <laughs> and tatas. <laughs> it's really fun stuff, if you ask me. But yes, you guys, uh, I'll see you on the next video. Please stay tuned for more. See ya.